Obviously, you know, you're the best in the world at what you do. You've been able to affect so many people. I get to be with the best athletes and military operators and businesses, but I want to influence more people. I started to realize, and even looking back to a young age, that nobody wants to be told to be positive. That positive thinking is probably the number one reason this industry has not grown in my 44 years of living. Successful people simply do what unsuccessful people don't like to do. Yeah. What does that mean? to Russell Wilson. You have to have a vision, you have to have a purpose behind the vision, and then you have to go execute that vision. You have to be committed to that every day. And every day they wake up, they're passionate about that. How is it gonna be efficient? Well, most people think of sports psychology as treating somebody who has a problem. Nick Saban didn't look at it that way. He looked at how do we make our best players better? How do we take great players and make them greater? And then how do we have an educational platform for all 120 players? You're the, the best of the best in, in, in a very, very unique elite sports training paradigm. We call what we do here mental conditioning. Um, mental conditioning for us is, is, operates off a couple principles. Number one, you don't need to be sick to get better. And, and number two, successful people simply do what unsuccessful people don't like to do. There's really no magic. Do you know that we actually all talk to ourselves, and it's estimated at a rate of somewhere between 800 to 1400 words a minute. So if I'm competing in a race or an event or in a, let's say a tennis, let's say a tennis match, okay? The average tennis match is about two hours. The average point in tennis is approximately seven seconds. The average time between points is 26 seconds. So if I'm a tennis player and I play a two hour match, I play approximately 15 minutes of tennis and I've got an hour and 45 minutes in between points, okay? So most of our average athletes, so if, we, if we compete in a two to three hour event, it's going to, we'll probably say somewhere of a hundred thousand things to ourselves. And how many of you think what you tell yourself has an impact on how you feel or how you perform? Would you agree? Okay, absolutely. Words, all words are, are simply tools. For example, if I said, hey, I don't want you guys to think of Coach Castro sitting on the uh, Eiffel Tower wearing a pink bikini. Don't think about that right now. Okay? <laughs> You said, Trevor, I wouldn't think about it if you'd shut your face, okay? Words trigger pictures. Now, one of the programs I have the opportunity to work with is the University of Alabama. I've worked with uh, Coach Saban and worked with their program now for the past four seasons. And um, we have, a, when training camp comes, the average temperature is about 103 degrees, okay? And you're in pads twice a day. So we have simple rules. Things, no one's allowed to discuss the heat, nobody's allowed to talk about the heat, and we make sure that our out exterior talk is always positive. Now again, people are like, oh, well, you're gonna tell, a guy's gonna say that, hey, I'm cold or I'm, I'm freezing, it's 103 degrees. I don't know if a positive thinking will work all the time, but I do know that negative thinking will. All right, and what I tell myself, I'm hot, I can't do it, I'm struggling, today's not my day. You know, Phil Mickelson, the golfer, won his first uh, Masters Championship, won his first tournament, I think uh, first major, four years ago. He, couldn't, he could never win one before, he could win everything but a major. And they said, what was the difference? What was the difference for you, Phil? Why did you finally win one? You're such a great golfer, so talented. He said, I don't really know. All I know is I woke up that morning and the whole day, I kept telling myself, you know what? This is your day, Phil. This, that's the difference, it wasn't, I, I always had the game. For whatever reason, I kept believing and I kept affirming that this was my day, and you know what, it was. What is the impact that you want to have in the world with all these things that you're doing? I want to demystify thinking. I just, I want to demystify it. I don't want people to feel like it's only for people that are really, really bright. I want to demystify the idea that, that change is a challenge. Nice, I like that.